test. Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Here we are. It's Sunday night. Donald in New Mexico was first, and the markets are going to be opening up very, very soon. And we're going to await those markets and see what's going to happen. And in the past few Sunday nights at this time, it has been uh, very um, interesting and exciting. Um, in some ways, kind of scary to see where the markets have been going because of what's been going on as of late. Our world really, literally, has been turned upside down through this thing. And I pray for all those affected and who will be affected in one way or another. That includes pretty much everybody in the whole world. Um, and so this is uh, unprecedented times, as I said in my video today, the Great Silver Pandemic of 2020. And, uh, and pretty much every commodity, every aspect of economic life uh, and physical life, uh, will be affected by this. Good to see everybody here. We've got Donald in New Mexico, Chris, Stacker 2020, C. Barrett is here. And uh, so a lot of good folks popping in here uh, and appreciate everybody being here. So we're going to take a look at the markets and in between, we're going to chat with you. We're going to take some uh, comments and interact with you guys that are joining us on the chat side, watching this live, as well as your comments here um, on the on the on the videos and we'll, we'll do that as well let's take one comment because the markets have not opened up quite yet uh, but rocky mountain bear on the great silver pandemic of 2020 says the only silver i have been able to find at a decent price was during a couple auctions here on youtube it's irritating i've been trying to find libertad since the beginning of the year i should have bought the 25 canadian dollar uh, multifaceted silver bear when i had the chance the premium those has gone up do not despair, my silver brothers and sisters. Do some Hail Marys and Rosemary, the Lord's Prayer. Say the Serenity Prayer. Rub your ears. Um, uh, anything to help calm the sympathetic nervous system. Headless chickens are more use than a person spiling into the pit of despair. Uh, good advice. Definitely pray. And um, and I know people are being cooped up and essentially self-quarantined under house arrest, so to speak. Voluntary house arrest. And um, But... You know, uh, the most important thing is everybody's health and their livelihood. You know, silver is second uh, second fiddle, really, and precious metals. Um, obviously, it's it's it provides an opportunity in some ways, in some cases, and there's demand out there. But we can't stress enough how important it is that we're all healthy and uh, and um, can survive economically as well as as through this pandemic here so all right very good highlander stacking is here silver sacks good to see all you guys silver gold and silver man uh let's see here nevada stackers here bob often all right very good to see you guys let's do one more comment here hi steve says nice display i especially like the Zinglehard prospector rounds I was lucky enough to grab a couple of deals Black Friday the 13th, but I had some more of the rounds on my radar and could not procure. So, yes, some deals can be had out there for sure. But, yes, indeed, um, very good. If you can find some good deals and take advantage of them, that's great. Munt Swats here, Dutch Silver Pirate. Good to see you. And uh, Mary Kay Walker, very good. Good to see you. Uh, 1450 at Korea coming by, says uh, G. Dong Kim. Very good. Wow. So apparently there, uh, it probably is, you know, I don't know how popular silver stacking is in Korea, but that's that's great. That's a good price. Only a couple bucks above spot. But anyway, it's very good. I see Barrett is here with toilet paper. All right. A roll of paper. Looks like toilet paper. Very good. See Barrett. That's awesome. And, uh, Let's see here. Very good. And hello, Spectacular. Good to see you. Uh, let's see here. Sal is live. Trump is live. Who should I listen to? Oh, man, I know. It's Calvin Cooper. So Trump is live. I know they were holding the press briefing. I thought that was an hour ago. So I guess he's still going, is my guess. And also, so is um, The Truth Never Told is also live streaming. I guess the waiting on the markets. Speaking of the markets, Native Stackers here. And we're going to fresh the markets. Here we go. The Asian markets are now open. Let's see what happens when we refresh this page. 
And out of the starting gate, we're seeing upwards momentum here, movement out of the starting gate anyway. Uh, marginal, at least, for uh, gold and silver. Gold is up $3.40, over $1,500. And silver is, is one cent higher now out of the starting gate. And platinum, 613, but 613 is where it's been. So that's strange um, that it's saying it's up 20 bucks. Palladium continues to take a dive. Down $81. And rhodium, look at that. Lost half of its value. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Moving back here. Let's see here. So there we go. Now we're seeing the movement here. Now, as we refresh the page one more time here, the markets are moving. Gold is up $6.40. And silver's down a cent. $12.68 now. And pl platinum's down Two dollars and palladium is still uh, down eighty-one dollars out of the starting gate here. Very interesting indeed. You know we could see the parity between palladium and gold sometime soon in these markets. We'll find out if palladium continues to drop. I will say something of note here as we um, as we look at these markets and notice this over the weeks. Well, gold has taken a hit, but in, in reality, you know it's it's still up. From where it was not too long ago, um, we are, a lot of us were kind of surprised to see it go above fifteen hundred dollars and uh, and the like, and it did climb pretty quickly, swiftly up to seventeen hundred dollars, and now its pullback is to as is not been as as uh, it's not been as, as as big a pullback as silver has been taking. Silver has been taking a beating in the paper markets, whereas gold has not, and I think that is really a tantamount to gold's uh, preserving its safe haven status. You know, gold does have uses in the in the industrial sector and in technology and the biomedical field, but silver is much more attractive metal, uh, not only for the price in those areas, but also just because of the properties of the metal itself is quite uh, uh, unique that I think that gold doesn't have. And so it's seen, and it's more abundant, obviously, as well. And uh, so, therefore, it's used so it's getting hammered there. However, there's still that side of it that I think is creeping back up. People are demanding silver. But nonetheless, let's go back here and uh, take a little more comments here because the markets, we'll check back on them pretty frequently here for sure. Yeah, where are the, where are the chicks, Silver Drill Pickle? We don't have any female representation here. But good to see all you guys here with us. Welcome. Very good. Mm. Yeah, Silversmith. Different play charts. I'm going to show different things at different times. Uh, but anyways, Silver Stanger, buy gold more than silver. I don't. I wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, um, there might be in this. I think in this present crisis, you know, the the uh, the market's a little out of whack with between the paper and physical. Um, prices for silver, there's a much broader uh, gap, but I'm more of a gold buyer at this point. But, um, you know, I, it doesn't mean that if you can't find a great deal on silver, and sometimes there are some, there they are out there, you just have to kind of poke around for them, uh, then it might be good to pick up a little silver. But it just depends on how much you have, you know, how much silver is enough for you. Uh, that's where you have to make that call. Silver Wolverines here and Silverback Stackers here. Hello, Silverback Stacker. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing all right. Yes, and uh, very good. Oh, 96 watching. Thank you. All right, very cool. Thanks, Driver M. And Silver Mac is here. Good to see you. Good to see all you guys here, for sure. Yes, and everybody watching this, um, you know, I'm praying for all of you guys. Um, I know this is tough um, uh, economically, even if you don't get the virus. Um you know the 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 ripple effect of the economic uh, fallout from this is going to be painful for a lot of us, and so we uh, pray that uh, everybody can get through it, and hopefully the jobs will be preserved in the long run, uh, or the medium to short terms. But uh, this is affecting everybody, and uh, so we just pray for all you guys. You know this is a precious metal channel. Um, talk about precious metals, but the human aspect of this is very real. And so I hope you understand when I do post videos uh, talking about this in relation to what's going on. These are unprecedented times, but uh, never forget the human factor. And I'm going to try to make it more 
um, um, you know, put it in the videos as well about, you know, the, I tried to do that in the video I recorded today, but also just understanding that, you know, this is, this is the most important thing are your lives, are your family and your friends and communities. Uh, that's the most important thing for sure. Um, and, uh, but anyways, with that being said, let's go through a couple more comments and then we're going to check out the markets again. And Master Stacker says, Constitutional Silver for 715 over spot at a major re dealer. Last time I thought it was 29 cents. Will this insanity ever end? Eventually, the markets are, gonna, are going to realign. You know, it's just going to take some time. Uh, but there's no question that uh, there is this huge demand for silver. And, um, and it's, it's pretty apparent now. Some people will deny it, but uh, they're not living in the world of reality. The world of reality is what it is, and the markets are reacting accordingly, and the free market system is reacting accordingly, especially with regards to premiums. Um, and it's up to us to participate or not. Um, and that's kind of what the point of that video is, is that even though there is a, a this high demand for uh, silver, with some people getting a silver fever, you know, you don't have to participate in the market, and maybe there might be, there's just as many good arguments for not participating as there is for participation of it all right uh okay yeah silver max says her his daughter got laid off from her job due to this oh man i'm sorry a casualty of it i hope it's a temporary layoff and they will rehire uh once this uh takes over i know some restaurants are uh are in the ingenuity uh they're, there's some of them are doing some waiters are doing takeout or deliveries uh during this time you know it may not be feasible for whatever restaurant that she works at, but it's just a tough time. It's uh, it hurts, man. I'm sorry, and the service industry industry is getting hit uh, the worst right now for sure. It's tough. Uh, Hillbilly prepping says, I'm "Glad I got what I got." Uh, too much price gouging. Well, and the thing is, is you know, I it's you know, I, I you know, I, I hate to say it, but for the uh, for fear or you know, for at risk of being called a defender of the big bullion companies and what have you but that's part of the free market it's not really gouging you know the uh dealers my local coin shop is charging a lot over for spot two and uh, i talked to them about this and they said yeah it's just they can't get it anywhere near spot either they're paying high premiums even big dealers are paying high premiums um and in order for them to stay above water and to keep the lights on keep their employees paid well uh they are going to make a profit. That's what they're in business for, is to make a profit. Just like for you, the companies you work for, uh, for everybody, um, the, you've got to stay in business too. Uh, but anyways, but there it is. All right, very good. Uh, El Porno is here. Thank you so much, my friend. Very kind of you indeed. Um, uh, $24 Super Chat New Zealand. Thanks, El Porno. Appreciate you, my friend. Very kind. Uh, yes, good to see you, sir. I hope things are faring well in New Zealand. Uh, by the way, with the coronavirus, I know it's affecting, I've seen this thing jump around from little islands too, but yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, 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 and there, yeah, there's, there's, and that Silver Max, right, there's people who are profiting from this, and they're, the hoarding and then reselling, that's a different matter, that's certainly a different matter, for sure, when they do that, um, yeah, and the thing is, is you know the, the way to the way to really solve that, the people that do that, is just to not buy from them. But the entire precious metal industry is being rocked by this, and I don't fault them. I don't put them in that category. Uh, let's see here. Silver Bridge says, "Great in-depth analysis." Might suggest people check their local refiners for possible inventory. Yeah, if you know of a refiner can get in touch with them, they'll sell with sell to you directly. Uh, that might be an idea too. I've never heard of anybody being able to do that, but it's possible. Truck and Prepper says lead brass demand is higher than gold and silver right now. Yes, that's right. That's true. And I haven't checked ammo prices lately, but uh, yes, indeed. Thumbs up and listen. Thanks, Pamela Rice. She is our Secretary of the Treasury. Very good. Hi Ho Silver says physical and paper divorcing. Be well, bud. Yes, indeed. They, at least they are for now. At least they are for now. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Here we go. Terry's here. Hello, Terry. Good to see you. 
And Saxon Stackers here by Platinum. Okay, let's see. Okay, Freedom Stacker. We're going to check the markets here after this one. It says, we need to support the companies that are coming forward to make the mask and ventilators to battle this disease. I'm really hoping the therapeutic option uh, out of Israel, a uh, combination of the Z-Pack and the malaria drug, cure the pandemic. I hope so, too. I've heard uh, things about that. So let's see. All right, the markets are uh, moving again. We're seeing palladium recover a little bit of its losses. Well, now it's down again. Gold is the only metal that is in the plus. It's in the green right now, and it's only barely, barely holding above water there. But <clears throat> gold is at 1502.20 is the ask price, above $1,500 right now. Um, so really, gold has been, uh, in terms of the paper markets and even in the physical markets, there has been a separation to some degree between the physical markets and the paper markets and gold. But silver is down 17 cents now. Twelve dollars and fifty-two cents. So it's um, it's coming out of here fairly low um, right now. With uh, silver is and platinum is down twelve dollars now. So it's six hundred dollars. And the gold and silver ratio, Ozzy Alchemist says, is one hundred twenty to one right now. At least that's the paper gold to silver ratio. Yes, indeed. Jamie Fox says, "Come on, silver, show your stuff." And I think in due course it will. Um, I did get an email from um, B Demon, and I didn't get a chance to check it out because I just saw it literally before this. It says that the stock exchanges uh, in New York will open up with nobody there. And I guess, but most most of it happens digitally anyway. And my feeling is this is going to change things. Once this is over, we might see more virtual stuff happening. Like there isn't enough of that already. Um, really. The social distancing, social distancing has been going on for quite a while with social media. Many people would prefer to, you know, Snapchat, even even if somebody's in the in, in the other side of the house, rather than interact personally. It seems like, but yes, indeed. And here we are interacting in this way. It's a great technology, uh, but nonetheless, I think that um, this social distancing, in some ways, is probably going to stay in some manner or form for. Uh, for a while after this. Uh, let's see here. Chuck and Plata says the brothel was closed here. Government orders. What if they have a drive through option for that, Chuck and Plata? That would be interesting. All right. Wayne Moore got 20 eagles for $179.99. Wow. Where do you see that? Let's see here. Uh, we are going to... Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to all own stock in Delta and Boeing. Yes, indeed. Slim pickings at Bass Pro, right, for ammo. And are, are the prices up too, Silver Mac, for ammo? Have the prices gone up? Let's see here. All right. Let's get back to some of these comments. Uh, we've got um, some guy that says, you can find gold for sale easily. This re really goes to show silver truly is the smallest investable market on the planet. I don't ever really see the price going anywhere unless we find some crazy industrial uses, seeing as they could print as many paper contracts as they want. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the only way for the price to go up uh, is more physical demand for the metal in bars, coins, and rounds. And we're seeing it go up because of that. So anyways, let's see here. Okay, all right, Silver Train. Yes, uh, Scottsdale Mint does have some good deals still, looks like. Five-ounce stacker silver rounds for $15 an ounce. That's great. That's really good. Barbara Carbone is here. Good to see you, Barbara. Um, so let's see if um, let's see if Silver Mac uh, says about ammo prices. Uh, are ammo prices going up too? I've got some ammo, but I, I haven't really been checking the prices on it. New Constremus, good to see ya. Wing Zero, all right. Been, been a week, don't know what's going on in my LCS. Ammo price is about the same, okay. So they're able to keep up with demand and the price is staying about the same, very good. Okay, let's see here. Salivation Nation says David Muse, very good. Yes, good to see you. And on this same video, Mr. Octopus says, time to sell all this fake silver of mine. Anyone interested? Oh, man, I imagine 
I mentioned there'd be a lot of people interested now. All right, B Demon is here. I'm B Demon. Uh, good to see you. I did see your email, but I did not get a chance to read the story. But thank you for that. About the markets opening up, pretty much empty. It's going to be empty halls in there for the markets. Funk Tad for Sellers, delivering up some craft beer and grilling porterhouse steaks. My happy place. Wow. Uh, man, I'd like to be over at Funk Tad for Sellers' place. Nice. That sounds delicious. Porterhouse steaks. There you go, brother. Enjoy. All right. Ammo's just getting harder to find. I'm surprised the prices haven't gone up on it yet. I imagine they probably will, though, in due course. All right. Silverholic says, um, if prices continue to tank on silver and there's still no physical metal available when I feel the uh, bottom has been reached, I think it will buy ETF uh, SLV and silver miner stock. We need to have a way to take advantage of the huge discount of silver and paper is one way to do it. I'm very curious to see what will happen tonight when the markets open after the rally on Friday. Will it keep pushing up the first second Fibonacci retractment level or that's a technical analysis talk or will it uh, tank back down immediately like it is done for the first leg down if it does tank right away it will, that will show incredible weakness if not the chance the price will stabilize for a bit well so far it's kind of gone down a little bit at the very opening uh, of the market it went up slightly but let's check it and see what's going on now now gold is down uh, as well and silver is taking um a pretty uh a minor hit there, but it's two per two percent down, twelve dollars and forty three cents. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, platinum is down thirteen bucks now, six hundred bucks an ounce. And palladium is down ten dollars. All right, very good. Hmm. So got the coffee. We're slurping here, and we have um the stacking nerd is here. Hello, stacking nerd. Good to see you. Winning Image Photography is here. Hello, Winning Image. All right. Good to see all you guys. Steve Woods, hello to you, too. <clears throat> all right. Okay. So, let's see here. Silver Sacks. Well, I'm willing to avoid the premiums and wait till this settles down. I just hope everybody comes out and safe and healthy on the other end. Yes, that's the most important thing, as we mentioned earlier. Well said, Silver Sacks. Indeed. All right. Okay. Australian dollars. Let's see what it is doing in Australian dollars. The market. Uh, so gold is up in Australia. In Australian dollars, gold is up six dollars and eighty cents. Unless they haven't um, refreshed yet to show the losses there. Silver is down, and not as much. Platinum is down seventeen dollars and fifty cents. Palladium is down four dollars and eighty cents, and rhodium is actually up sixteen dollars and fifty cents. And that's in the Australian dollar. Crazy. All right. Very good. Black Silk tonight, Chuck and Plata. Yes, sir. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see here. So let's get back to American dollars and let us uh, refresh this and see if there's any movement to correlate with the Australian market or dollars area. Very good. Okay, futures limit down, says White Fang. I haven't uh, checked that, so the futures are down. I wonder how much they are down in the futures market. Um, everything is down in Australia. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Platinum. Yeah, platinum's down too. Very good. Uh, yeah, let's see here. All right, very good. Hello, Vogus. Good to see you. Vogus Gold and Silver, good to see you. All right. It's the Aussie dollar falling against the U.S. Okay, yeah, usually that's kind of what happens when that what occurs. Hello, Silver Steeler. Good to see you. And Silver Heist is here. The Salvation Nation round is in quarantine. You're going to check out Silver Heist channel to get an update on that. All right, very good. Let's get back to some of these comments now. Uh, let's see here. Okay, Kyle Johnson says, 90% average circulating has huge premiums, especially dimes. It's actually worth considering just paying a bit more and getting the BU or bank wrap rolls. Everyone wants liquid denominations right now, but the 2-ounce and 5-ounce rounds seem to be the best bang for your buck. And really, that's as noted for the Scottsdale Mint sales on their stacker bars, for sure. Very good in rounds. Nice. 
And uh, Rocky Superstar says, Sal, it's crazy how silver product has dried up, but the price is low. Silver contracts are selling off. Margins are putting pressure on the price for now. Yes. And again, we've seen this before in that aspect. But what makes this unique is because of the coronavirus and everything shutting down, even mints and the businesses are shutting out down because of restrictions, for sure. Which means that some businesses like... Uh, um, uh, like Silver Gold Bowl and others can't take in Canadian Mint products. And other places like Boyne Exchanges can't operate at all because they're under restrictions. Mm. Uh, Van Nessa. Okay, Van Nessa changed his name. Resident cartoonist has arrived. Very good. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Okay, Philip Quinn says, my silver is quarantined, can't leave the house. There you go. Great post. Exactly right, Philip Quinn. Mine too. I'm not selling my silver. No way. I'm not going to do it. Medium Man is here. Good to see you. Terry thinks silver will get to $10 by Friday. Yeah. And if it goes to $10 by Friday, I bet you won't be able to get an ounce of it for less than um, uh, $18 is my guess. Anywhere, if it goes down to $10. And it could go down to $10 in this paper market. The physical market is something very different. And that's where silver is shining. Even though Terry hates hates that. But I got to tell you, um, silver is doing some incredible things in the physical markets these days, for sure. Robert Waterman says, I've heard the situation called many things, but only one thing very few have called it an opportunity. It's a great chance to invest in many different things to make a lot of money. It sounds bad, but sometimes a vulture is the one that profits from a deal. Well, yeah, there's opportunities there um, uh, for sure. I guess as long as you're not scamming anybody, that's fine. But if you can find a good deal on silver and resell it or whatever, um, and then that's fine. You know, we'll see. Very good. Okay, let's see where we, okay, Tomoko's Enterprise says, these blood-sucking dealers need to be shot for ripping us off like this. I meant, I guess he missed my video on, on that interview. To, I think it's misguided anger at the bullion dealers. I really do. Um, it's, uh, you know, I think if anything, if, you, if there's any anger, it should be in the paper markets. Um, and how, because really... Uh, and again, this is where manipulation can come into play or whatever. But I don't even know if manipulation is the right word. It's just that these ETFs, the, the, the paper market, you know, it's never tested. And I've talked about that before. When you buy a silver ETF, uh, you can't, um, you're, you're not cashing it out for silver. You're cashing it out for cash. You know, I mean, they, they buy it as sort of a safe haven within the markets because usually what happens is if the stock market uh, starts to tumble, usually gold and silver to some extent um, go the other way. It's not been happening here, but we do live in old and unusual times. Um, but uh, Tomoko's Enterprise, I think you've missed my videos where I talked and actually interviewed a bullion dealer that explained what's going on here. Every bullion dealer out there has been affected by this for sure. All right. That's right. And Jack is exactly right. Dealers don't have, they have some stuff in stock, um, but uh, they're getting it from, uh, you know, they're, they're getting it uh, piecemeal, essentially. And by the way, they're paying, some dealers are even paying, well, some of the big dealers are paying more than spot. We even had that confirmed from a, from a silver hating channel that they're paying above spot. So, um and John P. says the market could get crushed, but I think as Jack is right, um, that there's not a whole lot in stock. It's just it's just a fact of life. It just it is the way it is, and this has happened before. Silver Max says the dealer's got to buy two, plus they can't lose money. No more than any of us are willing to do. That's exactly right. And I think I wish more people would understand that. I think it's misguided anger at the dealers. It really is. Um, it's not in the dealer's best interest to scam anybody. It's not in the dealer's best interest to lie to anybody. Um, if and, and I know, and even John from, Jonathan from um, uh, Monument Metal says it's not as a transparent of a of a uh, industry as it should be. 
And I think a lot of this, a lot of that is basically probably due to hedging and things like that and and margin calls because they have to play in that world in order to protect themselves. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's see here. Um, where's the join button? Uh, Silver Max says, yeah, it's uh, it should be on this video right below it. Right below this video, there should be a join button uh, next to it. But if you're on your phone, uh, that might not be there. But on desktop, it should be there. But I think, um, uh, I know All Is One now had an issue with that too. But he found some, I think he had to like, I don't know what he had to do. I forgot what he says. All right, let's see. Okay. Thank you, Mint State America. I appreciate it. Americana. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Keith High says, SM, I got my ad in a little of the newspaper again saying that I buy silver for $32 an ounce, been getting 10 to 15 ounces a day. Um, oh, wow. Wow, well, very good. Now, that's a clever way to do it. Just as long as you... So he's put an ad in the paper, a little tiny classified ad. Actually, that's an old scam that went around a while ago from Don Dupree or whatever his name, name was, a guy ended up committing suicide. But um, uh, so anyways, so Keith High has taken a chance and put ads in newspapers, says he's buying silver for $13 an ounce. And he got a, uh, a bunch, uh, got 10 to 15 ounces a day. I hope, just make sure it's real silver and be careful doing that. But that's good. Yes, indeed. Very good. Lemp's Quiz says... You need a piece from the 81 U.S. Strategies, Strategic Supply to round out that lovely pile of silver. Yes, indeed. I don't know. I may have one of those uh, one-ounce bars. Uh, this, uh, I think they made it, yes. But I don't know where it's at. I think it's in another storage location. Mm. Yes, indeed. Neocon, non-con, uh, streamist. Yeah, they don't answer on Sundays. I've tried it before on Sundays. I dial and nobody answers their phone. I wish they would, because I'd love to call them on a Sunday, especially. Very good. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. A grow mechanic says, just shop around. I found some 20-ounce Scottsdale Mint bars, but when it goes up, you won't be able to sell. I hold for my heirs, maybe a small portion on trade for gold. Yeah, you got to shop around. It's exactly right. Well, let's pause now, and let's take a look at the markets. What are they doing? What are they doing here? All right, the markets are moving. And uh, the gold is down. Uh, so all the metals are essentially down a little bit. Gold has taken the least of the hits so far out of the starting gate. We're about a half an hour out of this. And silver is um, down 24 cents to $12.45 uh, per ounce. Platinum is down $5.99 now. Palladium is down 26 bucks. So... So coming out of the starting gate, the, the metals and the paper markets have been are getting hit a bit. And essentially, it's probably more selling because uh, people are wanting cash. Cash is king right now, for sure. Ozzy Alchemist, silver train question. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, but hopefully uh, get there. All right, let's see. Let's get back to the comments here. Rhode Island Transformer says, I'm protected from the virus because all my silver I have is killing germs daily for me. Yes, I know. Well, it's not been substantiated, but some people say it kills viruses too. Um, but um, I, that would be nice if it did, for sure. All right, very good. Let's see here. Robert uh, Rossman says, I think if dealers, distributors are going to differ from spot prices, they should stop using it as a benchmark. If a dealer is going to screw you for 30 to 50 percent increase in premiums when demand is up, they're going uh, and they are going to do when the prices spike. If it defeats the purpose of the stacking in the first first place, if you lose value on both ends, might as well buy paper silver. At least it's a transaction cost is fixed, unlike the shame of a process. Um, well, but the thing is, is that uh, you know this has happened before, and um, and during these times of crisis when there's less demand. In fact, it's not just silver. It happens with everything. But I think that's the thing. A lot of the community just does not, they're, they're angry and they want to place blame on someone. So it's, it's uh, the, the boogeyman here is the bullion dealers. I think that's misguided. Um, and for reasons I've mentioned before, and I'm just, I, I don't want to be a repeating record on this, but uh, uh, I think I could talk to my, I'm blue in the face and some people either won't get it or um, or they, but anyways, 
but it it'll eventually work its way out. It will normalize itself out uh, in due course. This is going to um, this too shall pass, um, as I've said other times. You know, we're going to get through this, and there's going to be time where silver uh, product will flow again, and uh, the price will stabilize at one point or another. Um, after whatever happens, whatever kind of a depth the recession will be in, we will get a recession. I can almost, if there's any, was there, if there's one prediction I think I can make safely, and that is, is we will see a depression from this, um, or not a depression, but a recession. And some are fearing that it could lead to a depression, especially if it's a long-term uh, quarantine type situation, or this virus gets really out of hand. And uh, so, anyways, we'll see here. Uh, Ozzy, Terry Sal is just using the threat of you timing me to stop me from hassling him. Huh. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Sorry, I'm missing. If you guys want to get my attention, type my name out completely as it is on my channel. You know, it'll turn red and I'll be able to see it. Otherwise, as I look at the markets and do these things, I might miss some of your stuff. I'm going to try to get through uh, and catch some of your stuff here, but I apologize if I don't see everything. Gold and silver wealth preservation says the elite want a digital currency. Gold and silver will never again be established as a monetary system. And even if it were, 95% of the population lives in a complete oblivion when it comes to precious metals. Yeah, I mean, I tend to agree. Um, I think it's going to be, I think if there ever was a uh, gold-backed currency, a gold-backed money, um, again, that uh, it would be in a digitized form. Gold would just be represented as a, as a, as a uh, backing, um, as part of a rules-based monetary system. All is one now got it. There you go. He typed it out and turned orange. Silver Holic is here. He wrote it and turned orange or red. Native Stacker did it. You got it there. And Stacky Nerd I didn't quite spell it right, but she got it there. Am I under a quarantine? No, I'm actually still going to work every day. Um, but about half my office did get under a quarantine. Yes, indeed. And who knows? It may not be long before... My place of employment gets shut down. How about you? All right, very good. Native Stacker just wants my attention. TRP, can we get a pre-market update so you don't have to leave the video? Um, yeah, well, we're, we we pause and go back and forth and do market updates through this. So let's go back and check it again. As we refresh, the market update now is that uh, the metals are pretty much uh, staying where they're at. They're all down just slightly. Um, gold's down six dollars and twenty cents. Silver's down twenty-four cents. Platinum down twelve, and palladium down twenty-six. All of them have not gotten hit more than two percent. And with the highest, the that got hit the most is platinum right now, out of the first thirty-five minutes after this market. Um, that's what we should do. Use twenty-two karat gold. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Silver Steel are another $2 trillion printed out of what little to back it. What's the credit limit? Yeah. Um, well, apparently, Silver Steel, if you saw my video from yesterday, it will be the uh, the two platinum coins will be the credit limit. That's how they'll pay for it, apparently. Uh, but that's under another proposal, which will be more than that $2 trillion. So anyways, that's what's being printed out right now. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Unlike at Salivate Metal, easier to type. Yeah, cool. All right. See, Barrett, I have a very hard time believing that these companies didn't hedge when silver was dirt cheap. Oh yeah, they they are they are hedging. They're, believe you me, they're 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 trying to work it. They're going to try to take advantage of whatever they can, whatever supply they can get, whatever measures. But to see the thing is, um, you know, the dealers are paying higher premiums for the. Um, uh, for to, for physical product now too, uh, so anyways, it's um, it's crazy. But I'd like to talk to another bullion dealer about it too. I'm getting it from one perspective, from one, and reading some other stuff about others. But I'd love to talk to another bullion dealer to see. All right, let's get back to the comments here. Native Stacker, I coined that phrase on your live stream about two weeks ago. Give credit where credit is due. I must have missed that. See, I'm sorry. So I thought that was stacking and prep, uh, stacking and packing. Said it in a um, 
So that can unpack and set it in the comment. But anyway, we are, we'll get through this together as a strong nation. You were just talking about coin ads, and one of the ads in your video was from the U.S. Mint. Yeah, wow, pretty crazy, huh? All right, Native Stacker, very good. Jack, should uh, Mint, uh, Mint should print platinum coins to sell to us directly to raise money. What do you think? Um, well, uh, technically, the Mint, every time they sell a coin, if they earn a profit, they do raise money. All the profits from the mint goes to the general revenues of the treasury. So they're already doing that. And they are selling platinum coins directly to the public right now. You can buy them right now. In fact, you can get a series of three coins if you wanted. Uh, very high premium, by the way, too. Ricky, 201, Silver Spot is $12 and premiums are huge to buy at decent price. What if Silver Spot is high as $50? Would the dealers buy at that spot price back from us? Yes, they would. That question was asked in a uh, live stream with a bullion dealer. They will buy uh, because typically what happens with these bullion dealers uh, is um, they they will um, uh, they will buy silver. Uh, there's a great demand when it goes up. So when silver prices go up, people are excited and like, oh, I need to get silver because it's starting to go up and go up more. There was a lot of silver sold at fifty dollars an ounce. Uh, and you know, you know the old adage, that's the time to really sell. Um, I actually bought very little at that time. I did buy some, but not nearly as much. Uh, but people tend to buy high and sell low. Because uh, they sell low because they want to get out of it because they think it's a depreciating asset. I can tell you, I've seen a handful and no more people that are giving up on silver. And uh, because they're not weathering the storm of these low prices and they're seeing that paper spot price and they're just like, okay, I'm out. And um, that's the worst time to get out of silver, in my opinion, or to sell your silver. I think if anything, if you're scared and don't know what's going to happen, just don't sell. Should we buy the paper silver market? It might be an opportunity. I tend to be physical, says Steve Woods. Uh, silver cage of metals here in cage of countries. We are sending a voodoo spell on the virus. Good. All right. Very good. I think praying might be a more effective way to deal with it. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. Hello, Eric. Our resident bouncer is here. Good to see you. Uh, uh, Gary asked if silver reaches 50 bucks, will you sell some of your stack? I might consider it, and if I do sell it, depending on where gold is, I will probably buy gold with it. All right, very good. Michael Martin is here. Good to see you. Let's get back. Donald Robinson says, not high premiums, rather decoupling of fiat paper worthless contracts from physical in your vault. Yes, that's exactly right. That's what's happening. Thank you, Donald. Andre G says, times like this show the real value of physical silver compared to paper silver. That's right. It sure does. Uh, let's see. That's a swamp prayer. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's see here. All right. Lady Liberty Stacker, light bulb just went off as you were talking, Sal. If the dealers are giving $2 over, over spot for our silver, when, why on earth would we ever sell to them at a loss? We certainly didn't buy it at spot price of $12 in recent years anyway. I guess this one statement would explain why the dealers are selling and what they are, right or wrong. I'm holding right now and not buying anything. The value of our physical stack is worth much more than the paper's price indicates. You're so right. Thank you. Yes, Lady Liberty Stacker, that's right. Even if the dealers were to offer you uh, $3, let's just say $3 over spot, and you bought a Silver Eagle at $19, let's say, and they're offering you um, $16 for it. Why would you sell? Why would you take a loss on your silver? That would be foolish to do that unless you absolutely had to. And uh, my guess is, you know, it kind of doesn't matter what these dealers put as their buyback prices. Um, uh, most people are smart enough, I'm hoping, to not sell their silver. In fact, they're trying to get more. Hello, Pudenda Johnson is here. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Very good. Okay, let's see here. Moving on up here. Sterling, ideas. Looking forward to 1800, 1800 Eastern Time. Could be a me. Could be something else. So far, it's just a me. Not a whole lot going on in the markets. <clears throat> uh, as to those looking to buy silver now that don't have 
in here much. It's like trying to buy a parachute once you've already or jumped. The time to buy anything is long before you need it in our world today. Please remember that going forward once this crisis passes. That's right, because people act irrationally in a crisis and will pay on these exuberant prices for sure. Bozo is here. I went to local homesteading homebrew shop for the first time today. As I checked, I noticed they had a few American Silver Eagles at the counter and were asking 30 bucks. I won't be going back there. Um, wow. Yeah, well, you can see, here's the thing, Bozo. Um, those kind of places, they're going to charge massive premiums no matter what. I've seen when the markets have been stabilized and everything like that, many of places that, places that uh, don't sell precious metals, um, like a gun show, for instance. You go to a gun show, they will charge you out the wahoo for those things. Don't ever buy from those. Yeah, just just don't buy. That's what you got to do. Um, and uh, But hey, it's free market. They can charge whatever they want. But part of the free market, it's a two-way street. You don't buy it when it's a, you know the markets and everything. And so, yeah. Eric, good news. Took several days, but got clarification from NYS. I performed engineering oversight for my local county road bridge of construction. Official, officially considered critical. Okay, wow. Okay, interesting. All right. Good news. Good news. Very good, Eric. Nice. Okay, yeah, I need to do a push-up. Let's see, stick up for the nation. Bash silver, yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. Mm. Press one if you think silver's headed to ten dollars. I think a red one could go to ten dollars. That wouldn't surprise me in the paper price. Let's see here. Okay, let's get a couple more comments and we'll pause and look at the markets, which are kind of flat today. They're down a little bit, but not. It's not been like a crazy ride we've seen before, which means that it could be a stabilization of the markets of the paper markets. We'll see here. Fiat Destroyer, can I play with my silver and gold at the same time, or does that compromise social distancing rules? No, you are welcome to do it. They are symbiotic. They are symbiotic. Alan Gold, you remind me of feces. Oh, man. Not what your mom told me last night, Alan Gold. Months what? Uh, do you think they're minting more, especially 2020 American Silver Eagles? They're trying to keep up with the man. Yes, they are, and they will mint more. No question about it. Uh, they sure will. Lee Bolton, banks run have been causing issues. FDIC made a statement to Fox Business that your money is safer in the bank. And we believe that, don't we? Yeah, I tell you what. You know, that is a that is a concern, especially with interest rates right around zero right now. The only way to go is negative. They say it's not going to happen, but uh, we'll see. I think it's okay to have some money in the bank, but I would have some out in cash as well. I think it's a good idea to have some in cash. Okay, the 30 cakes. I, th I hope the majority in future state delivery and break the paper BS and soon. Well, if it keeps going the way it's going... Uh, and it stays tw uh, right, right around now or a little bit less than I think that um, uh, we could see that break out. TRP, pre-market Dow was limited down when I joined the chat. Okay, very good. All right, let's see. So they've limited the downward movement as of, of it. Is that what you're saying? I know when they uh, when they open the markets up, there are these uh, sort of these breaks, you know, a, a, a switch, a kill switch on the market. And they may do that. They may hit that kill switch. They're going to see the market continue to do a free fall. Jim Rickards had a good interview with Daniela uh, Camboni. All right, we're going to have to check it out. All right, let's see here. Catherine Lee says, I've always prepped uh, my pantry, grabbed more silver at just the right time, have bidets and all my toilets and... No lack of ammo. It, it pays to be prepared and ready. You never know what will happen in this world we live in. That's true. That's true. Very true. And we're seeing that play out right now. A lot of different things happening. Chuck and Plata says, Hey Sal, still slurping, watching, awaiting, and praying for the best. At this very strange time on earth, I can't help but wonder if my silver will be profitable to me or anyone. I don't need money at this time, and I have yet to find anyone who would buy my silver maybe that will change i can't take it with me when i leave this mortal coil and i can only pray that it be a blessing and not a curse to my children or whoever gets their hands on it 
where your treasure is, there will your heart also be. That's exactly right in Jesus Christ. And for sure, that's exactly right. Um, but I imagine silver is not a hot commodity there in uh, the Dominican Republic, which you've taken residence. I think if you were in the United States, you would have better luck. But if you could sell it online to an online dealer, whatever. But the time to not sell is right now, for sure. Uh, but that is part of the problem with silver. It's just become so volatile um, that, you know, if you need to sell it, especially especially at a time like this, you're going to lose out. And um, and in this way, in this time, particularly, you would take a loss and it's not holding its value. It's not performing as a wealth preserver at this point, point in time in the paper markets, that is. So you have to be a little bit more, um, engine, have more ingenuity as far as finding ways to sell the physical silver. Uh, so, yeah, that's the thing to consider here. And that's one reason why I think that um, uh, it's wise to invest in gold as well or to purchase gold. Ricky question. Who's Ricky? Ricky. Yeah, if people don't type my name out in red, I'm not going to see your comments more than likely. All right, very good. Okay, so we got 172 watching now. Very good to see you guys. I got a 61 thumbs up. Appreciate you guys being here. Very good. Let's see here. Hello, Dantos. Push-up time. Yeah, we'll do push-ups here in a moment. We're going to do a couple more comments, and then we're going to pick someone to give me the number of push-ups to do. Silver is in a hot mess right now. It's crazy. All right. At least in the paper markets, it sure is. You can't find coins. Buy a call for silver service. Silver, sterling silver at 175 euros. Interesting. I don't know what a call for silver service is, but anyway. Silver bean counter says it's all cyclical. Silver, stocks, bonds are getting killed right now. Things will change. A diversified portfolio helps prevent feeling the full impact of a downturn in any one market. That's right. Exactly right. And that's why even um, in, it's good to invest in other areas out there, not just stocks, bonds, maybe real estate or what have you. And I never advise any of my viewers to do um, more than 10, 5 to 10 percent of their portfolio in precious metals for times like this. Because we don't want to steer anybody wrong here and make sure that people understand that when they buy gold or silver, and especially silver, that it could do something like this. It could go down like it, like it is right now. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, it could go down so much that, you know, when you go to sell it, you're going to lose money. It's just a possibility. It's a reality of the situation. And if people understand that going in, there'd be less... Um, confusion, less anger, probably, when they go to sell. It's fully understanding what you buy. Don't ever invest or put your money into anything you don't fully understand. And silver is an inanimate object. It is what it is. It's, it's, it doesn't have emotion. It doesn't cry. It doesn't laugh. It doesn't care what you paid for. It doesn't care what you sell it for. Um, it doesn't care what spot price is. It is what it is. Um, but anyways, okay, let's see. Governors are shutting businesses, says Bozo. People are getting laid off. I'm afraid some people will be selling silver to loss to pay rent. And that is the sad part of this, is that very well could be the case. And that's that's where I hate hate it uh, for people who have to sell their silver just to survive. Um, but in a sense, that's what it's there for. But you hate it if they paid more, than, um, paid more for it when they bought it than when they sell it, um, for sure. Yes. Uh, Gene, I always wanted, uh, wanted a 100 ounce bar and it looks like I'll get it. I'll take full advantage of this silver quagmire and cash and stack, stash cash back in an empty coin tube until the silver market recovers. This silver pandemic could work out to our advantage. After all, after all, stackers be patient and let it work for them. Yes, indeed. I think that's the key. Unless you absolutely have to sell it for an emergency, you're exactly right. Stacking and packing. I wrote a comment mocking your executive liar's own words. You took that mockery and made it into a video. Bravo to get paid. Bravo, bravo. I didn't skip one ad, but I will come back. Come up with a comeback. Very cool. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Barbara Carbone says, yeah, things are wild now. So many uh, plans are on hold. Most important is we all stay healthy and pray. This all comes to a, to an end very soon. Very good. Thank you so much. Slurp for you. Let's slurp a little bit. We're busy here we got jenny hansen is here good to see you jenny 
All right, let's pause and take a look at the markets now. What are they doing? Uh, well, they're languishing a bit here, a little down. Um, silver is uh, is taking a bigger hit than gold right now. It's down 2.18%, down 27 cents now, $12.42. And uh, gold is down $8.80. Uh, platinum and palladium have the largest in dollar form. Uh, platinum is now $598 with a $15 loss, a 2.47% drop. And palladium is down negative 1.45%, down $22 at $16.50. All right. Hello, Robin Stabile. Good to see you, sir. Are we doing all right? All right. Very good to see you guys. CCT is here. Good to see everybody in the chat. Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Okay. Peter Bartoldus, uh, in my contention that silver is being completely mispriced, there's going to be an incredible opportunity in silver. We are in crisis and markets are swinging wildly. During the last crisis, silver had a washout in October 2008. And now with hindsight, it was an incredible margin of buying. I talked about that in vi yesterday's video. Uh, favorite coin deal. Uh, let's see here. I will wait patiently for a spike down in silver. I will hold my nose and buy the SLV cost averaging down and try my best to catch the lows. So there you go. And a person looking into the, tapping into the uh, the paper markets, the ETFs, to ride this out. And there might be a good opportunity there, too, if you're so inclined. I'm more of a physical, uh, physical kind of guy. Yeah, where's Tricky guy? We need Tricky here. It's Tricky here. Tricky, show yourself, Tricky. Where is Tricky? Okay. Appalachian Stacker says, it's funny, some online dealers now have a category in stock bullion. Yeah, there you go. Crazy. Wow, they sure do. I mean, they're adapting. i tell you what. Man. Yeah, that is good. Makes it easier to find a way to see. I think that's what uh, Monument Meadow should do is change their deals page to in stock bullion. All right. Kevin W. says, I've switched over to gold for now because the premiums are more reasonable. Buying fractional gold is a little easier to find without a huge premium. I have enough silver. If I ever had to buy another ounce, I will buy silver again. Um, if I never, I will buy silver again, but I won't chase it higher till the price stabilizes. Best of offer uh, is don't overreact. That's right, Kevin W. I agree with that. And um, look for gold. I think it is probably a good time to look for gold deals as well, for sure. Yes, indeed. Hank Reuter says, I know someone that put silver maples up for sale online locally at $45 for jokes, started getting messages, has since taken it down. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. You know, it's going to be out there. Some people will pay the price if they don't educated to know what they're going for. All right. Ah. Kalanick Stacker says, I'm expecting to be doing some work while I listen to tonight's live stream. So, here's my MMA matchup challenge. Five Finger Death Punch guitarist Zoltan Bathory versus comedian Jerry Seinfeld. You know what? I tell you what. Um, I know that's a tough one because Jerry Seinfeld is a great comedian and I would almost give it to Jerry because um, I'm not really as familiar with Zoltan Bathory. Uh, Five Finger Death Punch, you know, good enough band for that metalcore style or what have you so um, i'm gonna have to give it to bathory by a hair by a hair let's see thanks colonic Saka, for listening and for the mma matchup silver cage and metals type my name out so i saw his post here he says 401k is getting drained but i love having my silver in my hands and that feels awesome there you go yes indeed sir very good <clears throat> and i'm sorry about your 401k all of us are hurting in that area too and then my retirement from work, I haven't even checked it. I'm just I'm not, I refuse to do it. And the C-Rod is here. Hello, C-Rod. Good to see you, sir. Yes, indeed. Welcome one and all. All right. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Okay. Uh, Guyoza. Very good advice, Sal. Thanks. Thank you so much, Guyoza. I appreciate that. Very much. Cyber Curtain Twitcher, which men is going to be the first to produce a COVID-19 silver round? Actually, I've already seen him. 
There's already, I got an email from a company uh, that sent out uh, silver eagles and other coins that are painted with the coronavirus on it. The coronavirus silver, colored silver coins. No way. I shook my head on that. I was like, no way. I can't believe it. Uh, let's see here. Okay, John Knapp, Rocky Mountain Bear, is not a Seinfeld fan. Okay. Uh, hi, Sal and everybody. Sorry I'm late, but I just can't. got done watching a vid on what to do if you don't have any toilet paper because I can't get any in my town. Wow, I'm sorry, John. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow, no toilet paper. I hope you're not running out. Yeah, people panicking. Wrong way to panic is to buy toilet paper. Yes, indeed. See, Rod, definitely good to see you, sir. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Ian Unlimited, too many ads, bro. All you got to do is skip them. All you got to do is skip the ads. The people that complain about the ad, just skip them. Behind the bell tolls, 22-220. All right. Dude, lay off the cigs. Your voice starting to sound rough. It's starting to sound rough. It's always sounding rough. What are you talking about, Jonathan Davis? Go back to corn. Being lead singer for Corn. Atmex has two ninety nine minimum, and J J M Bullion has the same minimum for purchases right now. Yep, that's been out. Posted a video about that a while ago. Yes, indeed. Uh, okay, Cybercurrent Current Twitcher is chatted with twenty four K. Saudi has been on total lockdown for more than a month now. No people on street. No flights in or out. No stores open at all, other than essential. Wow. So they are cracking down. Yes, indeed. Well, they're ha they're doing that in some states here in the U.S. too, but that is interesting indeed. Yep. Wow. All right. Yeah, they're going to have to start a trading platform for toilet paper on Instagram or something. Yes, that's right, Silverholic. Exactly right. You can also subscribe to YouTube Premium and all the ads go away on all the channels and it does help support the channels. And so Silverholic, he's on YouTube Premium. And hasn't seen an ad for about a year. That's right. Exactly right. And that does support the channels because those videos that are viewed from uh, from those YouTube premium accounts counts towards our revenue. That's exactly right. Joe D says, as long as I can lower my cost average, I don't care about premiums. There you go. Yep. It's a new market reality right now. These higher premiums. I mean, it's we're in a world now, and I mentioned this in the video, where if you can find silver, generic silver, for $4 above spot, it's considered a pretty decent deal. Let's see here. Silver Wolverine says, a deal, anything under $5 ounce is a premium. I know, it's crazy. Yep, that's right, Silver Wolverine just said it there. Let's see what the markets are uh, reacting to all this. What are they doing? Well, now we're seeing, um, okay, gold now is, um, yeah. It's kind of they're just hovering there. The market is really not that exciting, believe it or not, which is actually good news. We get a little bit of stabilization of the market and give the uh, give it a chance to adjust everything. Let's put it to you this way. If these prices stay where they're at and people stop buying silver at the higher premiums, if you're like, okay, I've got enough now, then you'll start to see these premiums go down as competition start to start to make its way, especially with silver supply. Silver products making their way back into the marketplace again. All right, very good. Another overtaxed taxpayer is here. Hello, sir. Good to see you. All right, Ozzy Max says pubs, restaurants, clubs are closing today in Australia at 12 p.m. Wow. Wow. Crazy. Man. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's get back to the comments. B. Lamb says, brass and lead are precious metal nowadays. I would suggest having some of that also. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. That's right, B. Lamb. Exactly right. And people are stacking up on brass and lead for sure right now. Together in what's called a bullet. One bullet. Bullet. Uh, I will you 300 ounces of 1610 per ounce. Wow. Pretty good deal, 300 ounces. John P. must have bought it right. For whom the coin uh, pings. Trevor Smith, coins are overvalued and not worth jack crap. Don't buy fool's gold. 
Okay. Who said anything about fool's gold, though? Metal Bum says, At some point I'll be buying 100-ounce bars at these prices. Problem is definitely this spot spread, as you said. Stay safe in front of everybody. Do what you can do to beat the spread of the virus. It will get worse in the coming weeks. Practice social isolation, guys, so we don't overwhelm our healthcare system. That's right. Very good point. Be cautious out there. Silver so Wolverine, Senate Dems voted down stimulus package. Didn't even make it out of the Senate. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. The Democrats voted it down. Said they had to have a two thirds majority. I'm not sure. All right. Silver Cage of Metals. Bye, everybody. Hope you have a good health, everybody, and your families. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Silver Cage of Metals. Be safe down there in Cajun country, indeed. Montague Basket, good to see you. Uh, back to see you, I mean. Good to see you. All right. Very good to see you guys. Okay, let's see here. Keep buying silver, so statue collecting as you, um, as you can, you know, or, as your budget allows, that is. Adventures in Metals, I did check it out. No, normally, I don't do this when somebody's just, uh, um, you know, I've never seen, I've never seen this guy. If he has, it's been, a, you know, he doesn't post very often. But, uh, yeah, probably is a scam. I'm, I'm sure it's a scam. Adventures in Metal. Coins A to Z says, what's been the DSR for the last 100 years? Exactly how much of a safe haven are these metals? Um, gold to U.S. dollar ratio. Yeah. I guess that's spot price, right? Coins A to Z, I believe. Yeah, all right. Silver is for losers. Uh, silver goes to 17. It's a value. It's a value. Ridiculous. Gold is only true money. Well, gold is, um, certainly is money. Uh, but silver is not selling for $12. It's selling for upwards of $16, $17. So it's still a value, none. Uh, Jim Watari. Wow. Thank you so much, man, for the super chat. I appreciate that. He says the spot and the premium is just the real price of silver. There you go, my friend. Actually, it's it's very appropriate. You said that right as this guy, none, posted his uh, comment here. Um, um, the real price is what people are paying for silver. It's not the paper price. Um and it's spot prices at the basis price for the market. So you're exactly right, Jim. Exactly right. Silver Wolverine, Republicans are missing five Republicans due to quarantine. By the way, we found out that um, Rand Paul has the coronavirus now. And uh, three Dems voted against it. And uh, Warren called it Trump's shush funds, which is just so they're politicizing this. It's crazy. All right, let's see here. Inflated price over there. He go. Yes, right, Eric. Yes, he did. He sure did. Thanks again, Jim. I appreciate that. And Billy Garrett, Billy D. Garrett. How do you know where? Uh, how do you know there is plenty of silver available? Well, I'm talking about uh, mineable silver. In other words, what it is is they're minting. Look at the Silver Institute's numbers. There's a lot of silver out there. It's just not in bullion form. It's being supplied. Most, a lot of the silver is being supplied to all these different in industries and the like. But there's there is a lot of silver. Bank in Lubbock, Texas, lobby closed except by appointment as of today. Wow. Yep. Banks are getting hit by it too. Probably be drive through soon with most banks. All right. All right, silver gold will uh, gap up dramatically today at open. Uh, well, it looks like they're not. They're both down. We've been checking the markets. Let's look at them right now and see if there's any movement upwards. Only palladium is now up a bit now. I'm trying to recapture some losses here. Um, gold is uh, still down slightly. And silver is down 24 cents now, 12.45. And uh, platinum is down $16. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Ozzy, yeah, I don't have time to scroll up. If he types my name out like you did, Ozzy, uh, then I'll see it. I'll be much more likely to see it. If he just types Sal, 
Uh, there's a chance I may not see it. Type out salivate metal and it'll turn orange and I'll see it. That way I won't miss your question. Uh, let's see. Your voice sounds different on this one, Sal. You feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I'm okay. Spegs. Yes, sorry. <clears throat> yes, thank you, sir. Calvin says the PMs will go through the roof. Uh, we'll see. I think in due course, the way things are going, it would not surprise me if they did go through the roof. We shall see. Physical is king, says Calvin Renton. And cash is king, too, I think. Yes, indeed. Slurp. All right. Very good. Seed Rod owns three grams of palladium. Very cool. Nice. Yes, in Donald, New Mexico, he typed salivate metal, but it didn't turn orange because he put a space between the E and the M. So you have to you can type it in all caps, lowercase. But if you type it out like it is on my channel, which is salivate metal, no space in between, then it'll turn orange and I'll see your question. If you have a question for me, that's the way to do it. All one word, like Native Stacker did it. That showed up orange and I'll see it. Daniel Bullrunner Lamb, I sold some of my cryptos to buy more silver if I find any. Okay, there you go. All right, nice. Even the colloidal silver making kits are sold out everywhere. Wow, that's crazy. Yes, indeed. Okay. Ozzy Alchemist, when you do your first real push up, getting off your stomach from bed to couch doesn't count. That's true. The second orange man, that's right. That's me. That's right. Sterling Cannabis. And Silver Holic says, I was watching some of your older videos yesterday, Sal. Your voice changed a lot over the years. Yes, I went through puberty during the course of my time here. Yes, indeed. Look at the price of platinum. Yes, platinum is down, <laughs> down sixteen bucks, five ninety seven now. Now it's back up six hundred dollars. All right, so silver bean counter is here. Silver, silver bean counter saying hola, salvate metal y el salvación nación exclamation point. You need to put an an upside down exclamation point at the beginning of that to be. I think that some of those Hispanic countries do that. All right, very good. So since the silver bean counter is here, since the bean is here, and silver backstacker, look at that. He did it. All right, very good. I'll put a lot of symbolism in that. Very good. Okay, President Trump is still on, but he is letting others answer questions now. Okay, so his press conference is going on still. Roger is here. Salivate heavy metal. So silver bean counter, be gentle with me, but silver bean counter, give me... The number of push-ups to do. Give me the number of push-ups. Digital gold, says Grow Mechanic. Yeah, that's one way you could do it, too. Like one gold. Some people, some people have been posting comments. You could do that. That's a way to do it. But that's kind of like, um, you know, uh, that's one of those things. You don't hold it until you, you don't own it unless you hold it. But let's see here. All right. Very good. Pudenda. Sal has hair down there now. Yes, indeed. There you go, Pudenda. Yes, I do. Guitar is sitting back uh, in the way. We might pull that out later. We'll see. That's what she said. Let's get Silver Bean Counters. Uh, is Silver Bean Counter, did he answer? Did he give me the number of push-ups? Did I miss it? Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Where is silver? I think a uh, dirty dozen. Dirty dozen. All right, dirty dozen. Hey, 12 push ups. All right, silver bean counters. 12. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, we did 15 for you, all right? There we go. 0.999 push-ups. This is Montague, all right? Here we go, we did 15, all right? Night, Bozo, have a good one. Play one for Jenny, let's see here. All right, very good. 17, let's see. I will get, we'll do some more push-ups here. See what the markets are doing. All right, so... Gold is trying to recover some of its losses now out of the starting gate. So it's only down $4.40, 0.29%. Silver's down 16 cents only. So it's only a 1.31% loss. And platinum is recovering a little bit of its losses too. 
It's down $10, so there you go. All right, half a push-up, there you go. <clears throat> but I think you should do 31. Yeah, man, that would be tough. We can do it. Maybe one day I'll try that, but... Uh, let's see here, grow mechanic. Slurp, yes, indeed. Here's a slurp. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get back here. Sell all your silver before it's worthless, says J Dub. <laughs> It'd be unwise advice. Unwise advice. Peck's getting bigger. Ah, marginally. I don't know. That pectoralis. I'm not a I'm not one of these bodybuilders, so they're not gonna get that big. <clears throat> it's not designed to pass, but she put the illegal immigrants getting free money in there, knowing sensible Republicans would vote it down. So she could say, myself and Democrats put forth a plan to give every American 2K. Republicans blocked the stupid all around. So I'll stick to what you do best. Well, yes, but the, that wasn't the reason why I put that, why I did a video on this. I got a lot of flack from this video because they think I'm, I think I'm essentially endorsing this plan. And I'm not. Uh, it should have been apparent in the video. The point of the video was the solution to pay for a big government program was to uh, mint platinum coins. I just thought it was interesting and fascinating. And uh, so, <clears throat> you know, it wasn't about the plan. It wasn't about endorsing. And I and there was a reason why I didn't want to politicize it because I wanted to talk about its tying into platinum. And people just, some people just didn't get that. And and they have comments like this. It's it's crazy, you know. You can, you can explain some things only so much. And... Uh, and, but there's times where I post videos and people, and I say it in, in the video and articulate it, and then somebody comments about it, even though I've already covered it in the video. And so I don't think none watched the whole video. But anyways, I digress. T. Norman, I wonder if the crisis will also spur further research in the antiviral properties of silver and help expand demand in the industrial sector. Stay healthy and safe, everybody. That's a good question. Um I think it very well could. I think they're going to try to find. I know that I don't know what viruses that silver kills. I know it's antibacterial, though. Um, and uh, and it could mean that it could kill some weak viruses. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see. But that's a good question. Acrobatic Jesus says, uh, I'm buying a 100 gram bar of gold today, waiting to meet up with the seller. Oh, wow. Well, congrats. Yeah, that's a pretty big buy. Wow. Very cool. Silverholic says people have selective hearing. Yes, they do. Exactly right. Thank you, Silverholic. Yeah, it does seem that to be the case at the time. <clears throat> All right, very good. Thank you, John P. He says I don't endorse. He's informative. Thank you so much. I try to be an entertaining too. Yes, indeed. Okay. <clears throat> Debbie. All right, I got, she doesn't like when I respond in comments here because she never watches them, but she says... Please try not to say right after the interview subjects will reply. I would hear that all the time when transcribing inter interviews. It made me think that the interview was giving a test. A lesser than informed person was right and sometimes right. Right, the interview was impatient, saying, in effect, you're right. Let's move on quickly. Well, the reason why I did that is because I wanted to let him know that I'm listening and, uh, and to what he's saying. But i got to maybe find some other word to say. But I don't want to say, like, uh-huh, or... Yeah, or whatever, but you, you, you got to keep be engaged and let him know that you're there, uh, rather than just, you know, I don't know, let him talk. But this is it's an acknowledgement of what is. In fact, I'm going to say she's going to have to come back and hear my response here. But love the title. Thank you so much, Cash and Coins. Stacking and packing gets a credit for that. There's Alan Gold. There's Alan Gold. Silver kills everybody. Media Man Admex selling Platinum Eagles for $828. Premium $224. Wow, okay. So they're back for sale again there. Big premium, that's for sure. Their premiums are rising on Platinum. All right, wow. Let's see. Wretched. A wretched you up. YM is here. Jim Smith, honestly, who would sell silver now without a huge markup? No one. As long as you have some silver gold, you're better off than most. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. And we've got 
Trump be cool. I actually bought my first two Platinum Eagles when the spot went up $10 and the premium went up about $100. Holding pattern now is best though. All right. Yes, indeed. Okay. Another slurp here. Stacking and packing. All right. Very good. He's engaged and he's been notified. Well, congratulations. When's the big day? Stacking and packing. I didn't know he was getting married. This is incredible. Hopeful stacker. Hello. Good to see you. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, as much as a guest, but your job is to get is to get his point of view. Yeah, that's right. And I don't feel like I did a great job interviewing him too, because I was when I was interviewing Jonathan from Monument Metals, I was trying to find questions from that video and pay attention to the chat and him at the same time. So I felt like I was distracted. Um, it wasn't a very well done interview. I don't think on my part anyway, for other reasons. Please be safe, everybody. You can get silver and get it cheap. Don't pay the crazy premium. All right. Very good. Yep. If you understand it, you know, just uh, don't pay. If you're not comfortable paying the premium, then don't engage in it. That's exactly right. Very good. All right. Let's look at the markets. What are the markets doing right now? They are reacting. Uh, still down slightly, but not a whole lot, really, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, silver. It's taken a bigger hit than gold, uh, but that's not surprising. We've seen that lately. Tricky guys here. A recent study found colloidal silver to be ineffective at killing viruses, even in test tube conditions. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Um, yes, indeed. Play me a song. I'm depressed. Okay, let me whip out a guitar here. Any other dealers bite on the offer to interview? I had one other one that was going to check and see. And I've not heard back from them. I imagine probably their their priority is just to take care of orders and everything that's involved in that. So I don't look I don't look for any other dealers to respond. I know that Jonathan Swires has taken time to be interviewed on um, International Stackers Channel. Let's see here. Where are we at? Let me find a pick. I don't have a pick. What happened to my pick? I don't know where my pick is. Dang it. Uh, let's see here. Let me get this pick here. I gotta tune this thing up. This is, this is a different guitar, so I'm not as. Let me slurp here. tune i gotta adjust this guitar but anyways but yeah don't play don't stand so close to me by please oh yeah man i don't man i don't know that song that'd be cool to do don't stand so close to me i don't even know if i forgot how yeah I'd, I'd have to look that one up i've never tried to play that one that would be cool though Because that's the perfect social distancing song right now. The Gambler. Yeah, you got to know when to hold him. Know when to walk away. Know when to hide and run. Because you think about it, you know, oh, rest in peace. Kenny Rogers, you know.
How much is silver selling for on Craigslist? My local Craigs has coins here, and they're for $15 or so, but these are uninformed sellers or bait and switch offers. Do pawn shops know? Yes, I don't know, man. I tell you what, the Craigslist market is is a different type of thing. You can be very, very careful. Play far, far away. I don't even know what that song is, but yes, indeed. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, it's not a song, I know, 